Okay, this is the Figuera setup, the virtual rotating magnetic fields. Um, rudimentary still, but I have the information that I need now. <clears throat> so I'm going to build a better model. Anyway, this is a stator. I'm only using four coils to rotate. Okay, four coils are rotating only. I'm not using all of them because I don't need them all and too much right now. Four coils with one pickup coil here. Okay. These are diodes that connect onto the coils. Okay, these are powering the coils, all these wires. Those four coils. These are diodes on all the AC leads that are going in. And it's sending out direct current coming out. Okay, so it has to be direct because it's going through diodes. Multimeters hooked up to the output of those diodes on the red wire measuring I'm going to do voltage and current going into the multimeter out of the multimeter Into the positive of the incoming supply and circuit. This is the positive terminal no diode just positive of this So we're looking at the potential difference between the direct current that it's sending out back to the battery and Compared to the positive so the positive is the negative and this is the hot to see how much hotter it is <clears throat> normal uh, Transformers and other stuff. There is no you know, you can't get that But this is how this works because it acts like a generator now The reason most people don't get results in my honest opinion is because they're so focused on the rotating magnetic fields and such Which you have to be but they use like three phase but three phase is the wrong phase because two Two of, the two of the coils are in the opposite polarity. Therefore, the voltage bias on them is so low, they can never get high enough to be higher than the input voltage to send back like a generator does. So your phases have to be right, and you have to know what you're looking for. <clears throat> anyway, let's start it up. So I got this set up on direct current volts. Okay, we're just going to look at voltage from here to the positive. Okay, pickup coil. Okay, it's going. We have almost one volt, 0.965 volts DC. Okay, so just putting this resistor rig alternating current that I'm doing into these coils and rotating next to the pickup coil, this already is producing back EMF of the amplitude voltage one volt higher, even after diodes, than the positive of the supply so what does that mean that means when i take a load or that means the current's going to flow which i'll show you in a minute but anyway now i'm going to take a load i'm going to connect my loads together i'm going to short it now watch what happens to my voltage okay now usually this should this number should go down because the back emf st stops coming up right but watch when i do this one two three Oh, I missed it. Go. 1.1 volts. Now I'm going to let it go. Oh, it's still connected. Let it go. 0.964. Now I'm going to short it. 1.1 volts. Shorting it increases when you take power. It increases the voltage. <clears throat> the back electromagnetic field voltage, the back EMF, that's going back to the positive. It increases it by taking it. This is how an alternator works that's actually spinning. Why an alternator can sustain its own magnetic field? Because the inducted portion of it gets sent back to the positive to sustain the magnetic field. And that's what this is starting to do. And it's starting to do it because I'm working with the correct phases. I'm not using three phase. I'm making sure all three or four that you're using are all positive at the same time. Phases up in that side. Okay? And then, because that's how a generator, that's how a magnet in motion is working. And then, it starts to do what you want to do. You short it, and the voltage goes up. Now, let's look at current. Okay, let's put this on current. And remember, we're on direct DC current. Okay. So, these coils... Even without taking a load, these coils just doing their circular thing are outputting one point no 156 milliamps coming out of these coils back to the positive. So 
So it's recycling that energy to use it again. Okay, now I'm gonna take the load. Ready? Boom. 228. Remember that went up from 0.9 volts to 1.1 volts? Now, it went up to 228 milliamps from 156 milliamps. So some of the amperage that we're taking isn't going right to ground now. It's actually coming back to the stator, out of the stator windings, and back to the positive to reuse it again in a circuit. You see how that's working? 228. And when I take it off, 156. <clears throat> Okay, so this is starting to do what we want it to do, but it has to be much greater. So here's my inefficiencies currently. Obviously, the resistor rig is a big inefficiency, but I don't know any other way to do what I need to do. So it's going to have to use that inefficiency. Okay, I'm only using four coils, which means they're 45... Uh, well, yeah, they're, they're 45 degree apart from each other, actually. The first one's at zero, the second one's at 45... The third one's at 90, the fourth one's at 135, and then the first one's at 180 because it's flipping polarity at the time. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, flip it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and by the time it's here, it's really weak, and then it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's going around. But anyway, I'm only at 45 degrees with, I got four phases. I guess you could say, uh, 45, 45, 45 degrees. I'm at 45 degrees, no doubt about it. Okay, second inefficiency, third inefficiency is I'm only using one side of this coil. The other side is going back into the rig. I don't want that. This should really be flat, and I should have another pickup coil on these sides too, on both sides. So therefore, you're getting both sides of the electromagnet. So even more go back, and you're doing more, and you're getting more. You know, I need to be getting that. So, so I need a lot more phases instead of four phases. I need like 16. I need like 32. I need like a lot of phases. I'm not going to get 32. You know, 8, 16, anything more would be better. And why is because I kind of explained it in somewhat. Because each coil always has a potential bias in it. Okay. And whatever. And that, the magnitude, the amplitude of the back EMF created from the induction is governed or is regulated by the power supply it can't go much higher than the power supply that's why we're only getting one or two volts here one 1.5 volts or whatever because it's governed by the power supply so if you have one coil say at full voltage and the other coil at zero and the other coil in a negative voltage you're never going to be able to induct or uh, you're going to induct it but you're never going to get that amplitude if it's too low to ever be high enough to go back to the supply if the supply is governing you and one coil is real low in amplitude. That's why your phases have to be real close together so they're all almost the same amplitude the whole time. Then all the coils will be able to contribute to the amount of power that it sends back into the positive, which is exactly as we want. So, um, yeah, it's uh, not an easy venture to make this many phases. This is using eight H bridges to get four phases currently, and it's wasting a lot of power because you're putting negative and positive into the resistor, and the resistor's connected together, so it's just always burning. It's, it always burns, and, but that makes what I want. Is there a more efficient way? I hope so. I hope I find a more efficient way. But even if I don't, I don't care. I'll, I will sacrifice the extra power to see what I'm seeing. It's telling me it is possible. And it does do. It is possible to not make a stationary device act like a transformer. But to get it to operate like an alternator or a dynamo. So the battle continues and I have a lot more understanding of the system now of exactly how it has to be built. Now I don't, it's going to be hard designing the coils and stators and stuff 
in the optimal position because this isn't optimal at all and it's very expensive to just keep winding and winding and winding trying stuff so but i kind of know what i have to do but i don't want to do it because it sucks anyway yeah that's where we're at so uh questions visit mooker forum please don't post complicated questions or big details on youtube because they will be ignored i'll answer some small stuff there but give me a hand man join mooker you know help my forum let's get it going we got some act active members could use more all right thanks